Okay, so we're looking at GCS engineering exam and the focus this year is going to be radio controlled cars. So we're just going to take a look, I've got an example here of a radio controlled car. The first thing with a radio controlled car is the controller. This is sometimes called the transmitter or just shortened to TX. So you've got the transmitter here, this has an aerial and two controls. The controls will actually control the car, so we'll look at that later on. The LEDs here show the level of battery charge. Obviously green means the battery is good, it goes down to amber or red, it's low, it's got an on off switch. And it's got a crystal here which is um, set, which matches the frequency of the crystal in the car. So that, and this is quite ergonomically designed, it's got a handle to carry it, you hold it in your hand like this and control, use your thumbs to control the car. This side does the motor backwards and forwards, this side does the steering. This is called two channel radio control because it has two separate channels, one for the motor, one for the steering. So that basically is the transmitter and now we're going to have a look at the car. So this is a, a sort of buggy design. There's um, different types of radio control car. There are buggies, there are trucks, and this one is just a simple buggy. So the first thing we look at, it has an aerial here, and the aerial is just to send the signal to the transmitter. If we take off the body, the first thing we look at the body, some of them have vacuum form bodies. This one has an injection molded body, which is either hips or ABS. It's also been painted and has some um, vinyl decals on it for interest. So there's the body. And then we'll look a bit more closely now at the whole vehicle. It has several components. It has a receiver. The receiver, as you can see, has a color coded. So you can see there it says band two. I don't know if you can see that. Band two and that is linked to the transmitter crystal on there. So those two are matched. This transmitter sends a signal to the receiver here. The receiver is, it's all powered by a battery. This is a um, nickel metal hydride battery, 7.2 volts, and you can see the cells inside there. That clips into the car and the battery sits there. The battery is situated quite low to give us a nice low centre of gravity and the, the battery is then connected to a motor, an electric motor. The motor feeds into a gearbox and then a differential. The differential then goes through drive shafts out to the two wheels. And if we, if we operate the transmitter, we can see. So that is controlled from the receiver by a speed controller. And we'll look at that later on. OK. The body of the car is an injection moulding and this is from ABS because the ABS is much better to handle knocks. The car also has steering which you can see in a minute and suspension and we'll look at those in the next part. So that's the basics of the radio controlled buggy.